I'm muted on fucking OBS. Look at that. Welcome back to me not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. How's it? How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. I am back and running shit again, so if it was a little fucked up on the transition, you guys know why. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing fucking fantastic. Who's out there so far? Um, I did see JTH is out there. Andrew Yeaton's in the house. My brother yes. Eric Sutherland's here. Lando. Um, who else is there? Raven. Raven Shadow Vapes is out there. Um, Meter coming in strong with the comment game tonight. Nice. Love it. <laughs> I mean, I kind of now want to file a poem of protest, but as good as that was, I, <laughs> I think we need Adam Polarzik in a bee costume tap dancing. <laughs> uh, import man's in the house, I see. Philip Putt Putt Wheeler's out there. ID Volca's in the house. Volca! Oh. Thank you, Randall. Hoss and Labworks is out here. Yeah! If you, if you guys missed the song, please go download it. It is fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> Where is she now? She actually just got married two years ago. Really? I remember seeing that on some uh, website, some news website. B-girl gets married, you know, uh, to some guy that she met on a dating site or something. She's 37 now. <laughs> oh, they can't, they can't hear us, I, TJ. So I what you're, it. Okay, I was going to say, you're, you're, uh, sometimes OBS likes to change your audio source. Yeah, let me know if this is any better or worse. Thing is, they're fucking with me since I changed the music there. Raymond Shadow says better. This is better. Good deal. Better. I would like to reiterate my comment that I'm with the meter vapes and that Adam Polarzik needs to do a uh, music video to No Rain, but it's just him. In a bee costume? A bee costume, tap dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm if I can score that. a bee costume. Oh, I do right. not miss my days of having bee costumes. Did you do the, the, bl oh, you did you do the Blind Melon No Rain dance? I don't know. I was a ballerina and tap dancer since I was in <laughs> diapers. Like, for some reason, my mom thought it would be cute that I would have a recital once a year where I'm crawling across the stage in a little fucking light up costume. Hmm. What's up, Chrome? Chrome, Rusty. Chromish Brown. Changing your name, thinking you're going to get away from the Rust moniker. No. <laughs> Calling you out. Um, today, 
is going to be a you guys run the show. However, first, um, like I said, we're going to do every week and continue to do every week. A little bit of, um, we're going to go with some good news this week. I know we talked about a little bit on Fresh's show on Friday. But it was also mentioned in the 510 report, so I would like to hit on that again because it is fantastic news. Um, coming out of, um, of all places, England again, the UK, doing that wonderful study for us. Of 800 and some odd participants where they gave half a certain um, nicotine cessation device, be it a gum, a patch, lozenges, whatever, and the other half a vaping device. So just gave them a starter kit and then let them choose their own nicotine as it went on and upgrading their kit as necessary. And they found, just as um, we said before, about 10%. Of uh, the people who use their traditional NRT or nicotine replacement therapy, as it were, only 10% of them actually quit at the end of the year long study. Oh, uh, well, technically it was 9 point something percent, but this, whatever, we'll call it 10, give them the benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. But then on the other side of the house, uh, pushing closer to the 20% mark, it was 18% and some change on the vaping side of the house, actually quit at the end of the year-long study now mind you all of these people were getting it said a weekly um counselings as well throughout the process and then they were tested at the end to see who would actually quit and not just said that they did so it was beautifully done and uh, as nick over there stated on the 510 report there was quite a few major um news sources that picked it up however Mm -hmm. um they all in one way shape or form put out the information that actually happened but then threw in the well u.s studies and cdc and blah 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 don't believe this to be used as a cessation device yet Um, basically they're saying fuck um england and public health england there because they have no clue what they're talking about I mean, then again, who knows? I mean, pretty sure that they were the first one to say that cigarettes would kill us. And we didn't listen then. We're still not listening now. Coincidence? I think not. Well, there's another piece to that study um, that, they, that nobody covers very well. Um, and that was that at the end of the year, the 10%, the 10% who had tried to quit using the NRT therapies, they had they, the other 90% had just plain given up. 80%, 80% of the people that were given the vaping, that were given the vaping were, that that hadn't already quit, 80% of the people that had been given the e-cigarettes were still trying and dual using. That's the other thing that they don't talk about, is that people were still trying with vaping. The other, the other 10%, you know, they did it for however long they did it, and then they just stopped. And they just stopped. The people with vaping were still trying. So that's the that's the big thing. Yeah, and even if that means they're a dual user still, I'm perfectly all right with the dual user because you are still, if you're dual using, you're still mitigating some of the risk involved because that's one less cigarette that you're smoking if you're going to grab your device and take a pull off your device versus lighting up. So, Import man wants a fact. Here's a fact, import man. I got a fact for you. Vaping is twice, twice as effective as the leading nicotine replacement therapy at actually helping people quit. And you are 80% more like you are 80% more likely to actually continue to try and quit instead of just giving up. Facts. I need to clip that and then zoom into your face and then start it off with a picture of the titties and then switch over to you saying facts. Zoom in on the eye contact. Fact. On that note, that's some good news for everybody. Not going to hit you with any downers this week because you guys are in charge of the show this week. So whatever you want us to talk about, it's your choice. Told you that last week. That's what we're going to do this week because it's been a while since we did one of those. If you guys want to go straight off the rails right away, feel free. If you want to talk about something um, vape related, feel free. It's whatever you want to talk about this week. I do see some other people have popped in here, so I'm going to say hello. Clayton is out there. Um, 
Dixon Talar's ex out there. Kim Dixon! Kim Dixon's out there. What? what? KLR is out there. Crushing it with her woodwork. With that, that, that woodwork. Them woodworking skills, yeah. 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 Lady Louisiana's in the house. Coming up. Oh, regular in here. I love it. Get in here, girl. Come give us a hug. Get you some. That's right. What up, Lady Louisiana? JTH is out there. Breathe and shadow. Jesse, yeah. aka aka the the sticker, aka the stucker, aka uh sticker in the butt. Sticker in the butt, aka, AKA Jesse. AKA <laughs> Stucker in the butt. Jesse. Jesse. No. 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 Import man wants a mouth hug. Who's giving it to him? Import man wants a mouth hug. I'll give it. I'll give import man a mouth hug. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> he didn't even see it coming. He was hoping Lumi was gonna do it. Next thing you know, he gets a mouthful of fresh. <laughs> Hello, nurse face. I see you popped in there. Oh. Hello, nurse. Oh, well, since I don't see any topics out there yet. Oh, look at this. Let's say my beard is. Jesse, you do it. you do have the link. You are allowed to come on shows. Just saying. I've been so busy lately. I didn't. I need to help him set up his OBS, but I never know when he's free now. He's a super busy dude now. That's good. Oh, yes, actually, Crumb, I did see a study on that. Or not a study, uh, article. The state of Hawaii is trying to effectively ban the sale of cigarettes by progressively increasing the age that you have to be to buy them over the next, um, I think it was next five or six years. Mm. Where it goes from, they, they've already bumped it up to 21. They were one of the first states to do it. And then they're progressively looking to increase that age amount to basically eradicate it. I think they said by like 2025 or something like that, they're looking to have the age be 100 years old to buy the stinkies. So basically, effectively making it illegal for anybody to buy them. And it is raining or it's leaving outside. I can hear it. It's raining for me. It's still cold as balls here, so. It's 61 degrees, so on one side I'm really, really sad because I wanted to wear my vaping swag hoodie today, and then I was like, it's too fucking hot. So now I'm having to pull out all my summer shirts and tank tops. Oh, what did you say I'm sounding? Tin? Am I um getting the wee bit of... Uh... Robot voice going on. I know someone said that your your voice was a little was a little, little low. I'm not sure what it looks like on your OBS, but and it says it's I right just, up there. I just listened to the stream real quick. It sounded fine. Kim says you sound very low, so you it's, may need to adjust, you may actually may need to adjust your volume in uh, Zoom a little bit. Oh, I wonder if Zoom did that stupid fucking auto. Oh, the uh, audio, audio, auto thing. Yeah, give me a second, ladies and gents. Let's see. How's this? Is it any better? Let me know. I don't want it to yeah, be too loud. That's better on the Zoom, too. Don't want it to blow anybody's ears out. No, you actually sound louder for sure, like clearer. Okay, yep. beautiful. In Zoom, yeah. All right, that means it should translate well over to OBS, I would hope. Hopefully. Let me know if that's any better, guys. If we need to adjust, we can always adjust fire. There you go. Raven Shadow's got a question for the panel. Uh, what is the one thing you'd say to someone that is totally against vaping? Hmm. That's a solid question. Uh, I mean, it, for for me, it kind of de it depends on the situation. Like, is the person like completely anti tobacco, or are they a smoker and they're completely against vaping? It de it really depends on the situation. I'd I'd take a different tact with with different people. I'm not sure there's you know one good solid answer about that. You know, we can say 95 percent safer than smoking. We can say it's twice as effective as as anything else at helping people quit. There's all sorts of things you can say, but yeah. I mean, if it, it depends on what the person's argument against vaping is. 
it would also depend on how formal the conversation was because depending on who it was i might just kind of like spaz attack him with my fluffy little crazy self you just you know usually i give a like that's cool like teach their own but you know since i quit and since i started vaping and then i drop anecdotal evidence you know my singing has gotten so much better you know like i have so much more stamina on stage and i don't brag about it i just say like like you know like i would get worn out after two songs you know and now i can sing like freaking nine songs and and then it gets them like you know kind of really yeah really because a lot of the hate like somebody most a lot of people who are smokers who are anti-vapers hate on it because they just don't understand it and you just gotta educate i'm all about the education you know it, i think it depends to be honest what you're gonna say to them is how they come at you with it that yeah tone of the it, conversation it, part of the tone and then um if i have somebody who just walks up to me on the street well i'm taking a rip and goes that shit's gonna kill you i'm probably going to ignore them because that's not the kind of person that is going to take anything i say and listen at all they're going to let it go in one ear and out the other you know i mean now if you're in a setting where it's like if i'm in a family setting i've had to do this with my mother before already where she was against it because she's like oh that shit's worse than smoking and i had to tell her no it's not and give her the facts she's more of a factual person so when you lay down the facts, where the studies were done at, yeah. um, who the reputable sources are, she takes it well in. However, not everybody takes that stuff in. Some of it, people would rather have the anecdotal stuff like you're talking about where they want to know about your experience and what, what's gone on with you. Um, how has it impacted your life directly? So, I mean, I guess it all depends on the person, the situation that you're dealing with specifically. Yeah, because some people, some smokers, like my friend Lori was immediately turned on because the options. She was like, oh, you can have different colors and different tanks and different mouthpieces? I'm sold. She bought a set, you know, a setup like the next week and then like was off cigarettes. And she's like, she's been off cigarettes for five years now. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, it's just different, you know, different strokes for different folks, I guess, you know? Yeah. And you know, that's the thing is, if you're trying to get somebody to switch from smoking traditional combustible tobacco to a vaping device you can't go about it the same way for each person because they're all a little bit different you can't tell them here go stuff this up your butt and you're going to be fine it it doesn't work that way because some people they want to see the proof because some of those people are the proof is in the pudding i need to see it Uh, other people they just want to know or the general ideas of how it works and how can it help them specifically to their situation so you have to be kind of careful about the way you're addressing someone kind of gonna also have that ability to feel them out first to to know what type of um situation that you're in and what kind of person you're dealing with yeah i think there's you know i've been sitting here trying to think of like a universal argument (laughs) for someone that was just completely against it. What up, Addy Tooney? You're not normally up late enough for this. Um, I'm trying to think of, I've been trying sitting here trying to think like a, like a universal argument. Like someone's like, you know, that shit will kill you. You know, you could be, you could be like, listen, is that a blimp? And then just like that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You know, I think that I think that's pretty universal, right? Like that would get the message across. Chrome had an awesome one. You say you smell horrible because that actually just happened to me a couple of days ago. My friend Steve came by and he was uh, showing me some uh, herbal samples, we'll say, and he was okay. holding it in his hand. He was like, "Smell this," and I went, "Oh, all I smell is your cigarettes." And he was like, "Fuck you, bro." I was like, "No, seriously." He's like, "Really?" Like, yeah, dude, you fucking stink, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just, yeah, it's just disgusting now to me. It's like just so prominent. Yep. Yep. And you know what? Haas is pretty spot on there. You have to give them the facts and then let them do with the facts what they will because oh, you can, it falls under that same ideology of you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. 
Well, and actually, Lumi and I were talking about this the other night, and I think the the same situational direction would apply here as the conversation that we were having. A great response would actually probably be the one that Grim Green posted in response to Dr. Scott Godlieb on Twitter, in that harm reduction and harmless are not the same thing, and that's true. Harmless is something that is completely unachievable in the real world. Harm reduction is what we base our everyday life on. And a perfect example of that is a seatbelt isn't going to make driving your car harmless, but it's harm reduction if you get in an accident and you still click that motherfucker every time, don't you? Condoms. Harm reduction. Condoms. <laughs> you know, use condoms. You know what else is good harm reduction? My fucking three-year-old. That'll make you put on a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Every kid I've ever met. <laughs> Even my nieces and nephews. I'm like, yep, never having any of you little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, what else we got out there? Oh, and I did want to address something um, that I saw. Paul, I will get a mic when I can afford Wait. one, one piece at a time. <laughs> Uh, we got a request for a, a certain koala, certain koala fighting uh, Aussie has requested <laughs> to jump on the panel. If that's okay, TJ. Oy. Koala fighting? Or yeah, she fights koala. She fights koalas. It's not exclusively. It's not exclusively tall marsupials. She'll fight the little ones too. Sure, yeah, send them links. Especially when they start coming at her with two dicks. I need to get, apparently I need a bigger screen. I'm going to have to go back to a 27-inch monitor because this little work monitor is not doing the trick. I have too many screens taking up too much space right now. She just, like she sees something with fur, like she just doesn't even hesitate. She just punches it. That's why her poor, her poor wife has to stay on her toes. <laughs> Oops. And that's how you got twins, Eric Sutherland. <laughs> exactly. He's trying to take ODB's title now. I know. Ask uh, <laughs> ask ODB how that works out. <laughs> poor, poor, poor Mrs. Poor Mrs. Babyface, just sitting there, trying to deal with his shit. Hello, hello. Uh, James Capozzi is asking you to resize a little bit, TJ. Yeah, I see what he's saying. It's shrunk in on the stream. Oh, fucking <laughs> the joys of running your own show, right? <laughs> Pretty soon, like next week is going to be like, oh man, OBS is down over here, guys. Someone needs to, someone needs to run it for me. <laughs> is this any better? Or do I need to adjust it again? Or uh, actually, that's. Eutimus, that popped it out to wide. It was skinny tall, so now we're perfectly spread out wide. He probably just wants people to be zoomed in so he can look at Fresh's mouth. Uh, oh, yeah, because we're not filling the whole screen on on YouTube. I see what they're saying. Why does my... Oh, God damn you. Fuck you, OBS. Um, look, I think I must be the only woman around that can come into a panel and make all the men shrink. It's all fine. <laughs> It's all I uh, talk about punching koalas and exactly. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Sorry for the light invasion. Just letting. Um, yeah, better late than never. Yeah. We we just we're, we're making sure that people know that like Pippa won't hesitate to roundhouse a kangaroo. Like there's just there's no doubts about it. Yeah, there is some footage around of me. Doing allegedly. similar things. Um, done allegedly. Apparently, Giz hasn't lost it somewhere. All I'm saying is Giz is she is the beholder of that footage. <laughs> and uh, and I've got to say, massive, massive, like absolute humbling uh, by looming to see that happen on a live show during the week. Trophy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a humbling experience. So thank you, Lumi. Well, honestly, um, yeah, 
I had a speech prepared, but you know, just saying that now, it's made me absolutely speechless. So. I would just need to find somebody's mail that I can hijack so I can ship it with theirs to you. Oh, that'd be awesome. Or you can start awesome. sending stuff to Pippa guys. I just assu- <laughs> I just assumed that Lumi had named herself Best Aussie Mixer 2018. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just send them over to Dawn at a door, and uh, I'll be definitely getting an order from Dawn as soon as I can with her new upgrade on her Adore ETC site for us internationals, um, making things really, really easy now. So, got the PayPal linked up and all the good stuff. So, that it is actually that's how I made my last order. Yep, Adore ETC, everybody. You know, and you know, you can use PayPal now, so those of you who don't have access to cards or things like that you can use paypal i just want to i just want to point out that like no matter what happens with like flavor bands and whatnot like that site's so completely separate that it'll never shut down kind of like vso dot flavors mm-hmm. mm. yep. some fantastic things people thinking ahead in case of worst case scenarios love it that's right not to mention, you can put that stuff in your coffee or hell if you're into it. Hazy custard, hazy custard or banana bondage, either one is wonderful in coffee. And if you're into it, maybe you want some banana bondage flavored milk. You know, whatever. I'm just saying. Or, mm-hmm. or vaping swags blueberry and your scones or blueberry muffins. And oh yeah. Vaping <laughs> swags blueberry has made it into a lot of the things I bake in the house. So Nick will be like, why is there blueberry in this chocolate chip cookie? And I'm like, don't fucking worry about it. <laughs> He's like breaking it up, looking for the blueberries. Like, all I see is chocolate chips. I'm so confused. <laughs> and Lumi's just, sit- Lumi's just sitting at the table. Yes, be confused. Be confused, Mr. Lumi. <laughs> tit slap a koala. Look, I'll tit slap a kangaroo before I tit slap a koala, Lando. Um, believe it or not, Kangaroos are a little bit more timid around me, at least, than koalas. Those koalas are ferocious. Ferocious little bastards, right? Like, like how many deaths are attributed per year to kangaroos and how many deaths per year are attributed to, to koalas? I guarantee the numbers at least double. In a I don't know. So. See, it depends whether, because there's the, there's the other breed called drop bears, right, of koalas. So if, yeah. if you, there's a the drop bear sub-breed... Um, yeah, that that would attribute to at least three times the whole picture, you know. So oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that drop bears is a thing over in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Actually, there's some exciting footage come out in the news during the week there where they showed this poor cyclist. You'd love this one, fresh. This oh, poor cyclist. Um, yeah, just just going down the highway, you know, 60 k's an hour. Boom, kangaroo just wipes him off. Just out of the way, just pew. Yeah, so there you go. Watch out for them um, kangaroos if you're cycling in Australia. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'll just jump out of the and get you. Aren't, can- aren't kangaroos considered a pest over there? Oh, in a lot of areas, yeah. In okay. a lot of areas. Because they're just, yeah, they're just they're, running. They're just everywhere. Just yeah, absolutely. Deer. I've become quite sensitive to the word tit slap after punching myself square in the nipple the other night. Mm. Not the boob, oh. my nipple. I punched myself square in the nipple, and it fucking hurt. It was hilarious, though. So I'm curious. So now I'm gonna hijack the chat. I'm totally taking it from you, from the chat. Like, how uh, how do you t- punch yourself square in the nipple? Where you like? I was hmm? shaking a bottle of e liquid, and my nipple was ever so slightly hard, and I just bam, right down onto my nipple. Like, like, get down, you. Like, huh. that's what you were doing? Yep. I tried, I tried to explain to her that's why you shake liquids above your head. You won't have those incidents. <laughs> and it makes better shake weight gifts. <laughs> um, I did, since it's tonight's supposed to be the chat running the show, I did see a, a pertinent question out there. Uh, Volca asked, uh, he's lost touch a bit when it comes to starter devices. I was going to mention that one. <laughs> what, um do we recommend as far as easy starter devices, pods, um, AIOs, things of that nature? 
but which one? He said, there's tons out there. I'm really sorry to say this because I know Vupu does some really questionable things, but for a mod for people, I really like the Vupu drag because when you put a new coil on, it asks you and then it sets a recommended watt. I don't know how many other mods do that, but that's pretty helpful for people that are like, what do I do with all these watts? What should I vape this coil at? Um, like the, the uh the lost vapes the new lost vape pod system is really good uh meters raving a my, waving a my one around over there or not a my one uh blue. my blue my blue I my blue it. my I've, blue's a buck yeah i love them man it's I've literally got like half a dozen different pod systems around here that I've tried out for review. And I, this is the only one that I keep buying things for on my own. And I hack them and DIY them too, but this is the only one. And I keep two of these in my jacket with me when I go to work because I work with smokers and I have smokers all the time that are interested. And I literally keep an extra one just to be able to go here, take it and try it. Yeah. I let my friend, uh, my drummer from the disheartened, uh, try mine and had the, the mango apricot or whatever pod that was in there. And he was like, holy shit, what flavor is this one? I was like, it's the mango one. He's like, I have these at home. I'm like, dude, crack that fucker open and try it and vape it and yep. try not to smoke a cigarette. You will find that you will not need a cigarette with that 24 milligram. Dude. No, you Absolutely. will not. Just you, take like, you, take, <laughs> you take like five, six rip off a 24 mm -hmm. milligram and you're like, all right, I'm good. Yeah. I mean, granted it's Nick salt, so you're going to be back like 10 minutes later looking for another rip, but you know, it's you're not smoking a cigarette. Though. You're not smoking right. cigarettes. <laughs> and the thing is, there's so many fucking pod systems out there now. There's just just a fuck ton. See, I even, I see. I'll, I'm I'm gonna fast up there. You'll meet her. See, you know, I, I kind of fallen in love with this mock Nord because I think it's an awesome one to show people um, how to vape for the first time because you've got a direct to lung and a uh, mouth to lung option right and it all just depends what coil you've got so if you've got like one of these babies with a direct to lung coil in there and one of these babies with a mouth to lung you just go oh hang on the direct to lung's a bit too harsh for you let me pop in the mouth to lung for you and try that and i just think that is freaking awesome that is that's that's a good way to go too because then it gives people that the option of learning how they like to vape as well, especially when you're trying to get somebody to quit. You can go here, try this way or try this way. They'll give you a, that option yourself. Yeah, the pod game's definitely way stronger now than it was when most of us first made the conversion. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab that thing. Oh, and I mean, don't get me wrong, some of the old <laughs> ones out there like the Boulder, those are still fantastic little devices to get people to pop over to, and they're cheap. I mean, the, you can go with some of the older ones, even the with the little the AIO kits. Yep, those were fantastic. There's there's a multi, there's multitudinous ones that are out there. I mean, I have even a couple of what is it the Soren Air, the Soren Drop. Those they're those are fantastic as well. There, there's a yep. multitudes of them. It's just a matter of what kind of device are you looking for, what kind of draw. How um, complex are you looking to get? Really? Yeah. Mm. There we go. That's the new Q, isn't it? The cheaper, more affordable. Yeah, the um, Q. Yeah. Non-DNA version. Yeah, the Orion Q. So it's it's 17 watts. That's what you get out of it. 17 watts. No way fans or butts. Doesn't go up. Doesn't go down. 17 watts. So this is just like vaping a Nautilus Mini. Um, the airflow is controllable right there. Nice. Right there. Um, I believe you can change out. No, you can't change out the drip tips on the queue. You can change out the drip tips on the other one. But you can vape regular e-liquid out of this. So you can drop down, go up. You can do whatever you need to out of this. The pod, the pod here that I've been vaping on, with this one, I've been vaping on it for close to a month now, and it hasn't gone bad on me. And I was told that I was going to get about two weeks out of it. Hmm. Um, but vaping just regular non-sweetened e-liquids, like that. This is the. This is the ambrosia that me and Lumi were doing. Ooh. The ambrosia turned out lovely, but nice. you can vape. You can vape. You know, just your regular three, four, five milligram. All that you, you know, you can vape it up to twenty-four if you want. You can dial it down to mouth to lung, and 
the whole setup here to get this and be out the door is about 40 bucks with a pod, with a pod and a device and the battery lasts for fucking ever like i charge this i charge this thing like maybe once a week oh, <laughs> can't complain about that at all no exactly yeah, as long as you get a little bit of flavor through it, and you get tons of flavor. It's just like vaping a Nautilus Mini. The Nautilus Mini was a That's fantastic awesome. little flavor device. It's a benchmark yeah. for a lot yeah. of folks. Yeah. Then you just yeah, when you fill it, you just close it off, prime it, open her back up, boom, five clicks on, and a nice little light button there. Fan fucking tastic. And it's great flavor. Great flavor. I've been rude. I've been super impressed with this thing. This is probably yeah. my favorite. This is probably my favorite little pod device, the little Orion Q. Because it's just it does there's nothing there's nothing to think about for a new smoker or for a new for a new vapor. There's absolutely nothing to think about except for how do I change my pod? And you change the pod by clicking a little button, it pops it right out. And you click the new one in and you're off and running again. Thirty bucks. Yeah, it's like thirty bucks for the device and like six dollars a pod. Not bad. Not bad. So I'm all. curious about something with the my blue thing because I've been looking still for something to get my um. And it looks neat. My father-in-law to get him to quit smoking cigarettes. What would you recommend as a flavor? They've got some really good tobaccos, tobacco actually. Ones. Yeah, the tobacco ones are really good. <clears throat> If but, you're a smoker, they have that nice harshness. Um, if you want to give them a treat, I would. Don't they? They've got a mango one that's pretty solid, right? It's apricot mango. Apricot, yeah, apricot mango. mango. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would buy. I would. So, and the pods are super cheap too for that. So you just buy that, and then you get them a couple of the get them a couple of different flavors, and just be like, give this a try. <laughs> if you break it, it's if you break it, it's only a dollar for a new one. Yeah, it's thirty dollars for this little starter kit. So I'm over here like, I finally might have something here that I can persuade Nick to no, get for his dad. No, no, just go on the the My Blue website and you can get it for a buck. They'll send you one. They'll send you one with a pod for a buck. They yeah. may have dropped that promotion when the year changed. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was looking for them not too long ago, and I'm pretty sure they weren't a buck anymore. Well, that's a I got mine for a dollar. Yeah, I bought a half a dozen a for a dollar. Yeah, I got one for me and then one for my brother-in-law. The other thing that you could do is uh, getting it, getting it, getting old uh, like iStick Thirty and a Nautilus Mini. Both are still available. Yep. And you probably you probably spend forty <laughs> bucks at forty bucks on that setup, maybe. And then he's gonna have himself a great little setup, and he can go buy coils at anywhere, and he can refill it himself. Oh. And and it's you know the size of a big lighter. Like a bigger lighter. Yep. I love, like that. I love that. The 30 I love that. Thirty is only slightly bigger than the twenty. Yeah, I loved that setup. Absolutely loved it. It's an Evon on there. <laughs> There's a uh, Giancarlo's uh, my jarums in here. Some Twelve milligram my jarums. Heck yeah. Can't yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it's really the question wide open in a Facebook group this week and asked, you know, what was the device that got you off the stinkies in the first place? And it was it was really a good wide open question. Just see the wide and varied responses from, you know, wherever they were in the timeline, you know? And um, but it, it's always fascinating to throw that question out there if anyone ever does in a Facebook group or, or wherever, to sort of see how all the people got off. And it just shows, you know, so wide and varied. It really, really just depends what the device is that floats your boat. What tickles your float, you know? It's, uh, it's, yeah. uh, yeah. I remember, I still remember the device TJ. I got, because they sent it to me for a review and I, they sent an extra one. I was like, TJ can have this extra one. A little nice. instigator sub on then. Those things are, that thing is great. I think I've still got it sitting around here somewhere. I do somewhere. Where at, I don't know, but I do know it is around here somewhere. It'll it's like a magic night. wand. And I think it took a little, took Nautilus coils, if I remember correctly. Nautilus yeah, or... I think you, I think you could use one of the little Nautilus BBCs with it. Yeah. 
Hmm. Itty bitty little parts. It was fantastic, though. Worked beautifully. Got me off the stinkies in three days. In a hurry, yeah. That thing, that thing at the time was one of the. That was one of the best. That was one of the best little little uh, all-in-one setups. Oh, simple five click on, five click off, no adjustable wattage, all internal battery, so it made it easy. Yep. And you just, you just, I remember TJ show, shooting a video of his first, his first rip on it, and he took a rip off of it, blew the cloud, and he's like, "All right, I kind of get the cloud thing." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those videos, I think, are still up on your channel, actually. Yeah, your first, I have not your first taken experience. them down. I left them mm. up. And just so that way everybody can see if they do care to dabble back like three or four, three years about. <laughs> yeah. One time I heard today from Wayne Walker, God love Wayne Walker from DLI Die, he's reviewing uh, an RDA, and then he explained how much cloud expenditure he got off the RDA, which I thought was kind of interesting because I thought if you take too much, too long a suck, um, you know, to, to, and you're worried about cloud expenditure, you'd want to make sure the balance was right before you start using the withdrawal method. You know what I mean? Hmm. Otherwise, you could end up with all sorts of cloud expenditure issues. <clears throat> we could go all sorts of places with the, that entire statement, Pippa. Do we go with it or do we let it go, everybody? I mean, I'm I'm inclined to let that I'm inclined to let that one go. <clears throat> That's it. You guys are in charge, so if you want to change the subject at any time, feel free. It's up to you. Still watching the chat here. But I agree that Rico has exceptional cloud expenditure. So um while we're on random things here, I just want to say I still Stop. I said this before the show started. I stopped using the Minikin V2 today for shits and giggles just to see what happened. And I went back over to the cartel and I'm highly disappointed. This thing is just a pretty paperweight at this point. Because today's probably going to be the last day I use it for a long fucking time. <laughs> yeah. The Minikin will spoil you. It really does. That thing is just so spot on. The ramp time is so fucking fast compared to this. It's ridiculous. Like, instant gratification. No waiting required. Yep, that's what I... That's what it, Two years in a row, it was mod of the year. <laughs> For good reason. Like, what was, the, what was the best mod that's available in 2018? Still the Minikin B2. Same thing I said last year. It's still the best mod. <laughs> Crazy. It's a pretty little bastard too. Yeah, it is. Just they don't die. They just die. I mean, look at all them chips. All them chips. They just don't die. So you've got the old one as well, haven't you? You know, the only thing that I think that makes it better is the hand feel of these is so much nicer. Yeah. Yeah. Like in comparison, brick. <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> Yeah, I've grown to like that shape too, the little low. Yeah. yeah. Low. Super comfortable to hold. It really is. Like when I first saw, like when I first started getting into bigger devices and I looked at like the Rouleaux that were out there, I went, yeah, no, I don't like the fucking shape of that. It looks fucking stupid. Not doing it. Now that I have something that's that shape, I'm going, oh, the ergonomics to this are so much better. Fucking <laughs> stupid me. <laughs> yeah look speaking of portable and comfortable and all that sort of thing i'm really i'm a bit late to the party on the top side duo, duo but like honestly i find the drip tip is very comfortable yes thank you for asking um <laughs> but honestly the that that form factor i guess that's what bogan calls it the form factor or the way it forms around your hand is really really exceptional so <laughs> There you go. I don't know that you're late to the topside dual game. Like it just came out. It's yeah. So I thought it was about a month. About a month late. There you go. I don't. I don't have one yet. You're ahead of me. I also don't have one. There you go. Well, look, 
Just know. I'll, gra- I'll grab one at some point. Yeah. When it's got du- when it's got dual twenty one seven hundreds. I can see why he didn't use dual twenty one seven hundreds. It would be way too big, but it would be awesome for battery life. It would be a table mod, you know. Oh, I take it with me. I don't. I don't even give a shit. Yes, Phil. We are talking about the minikin that I sent to you. Um, Raven Shadow asks, "What is your favorite uh, setup to use daily? Daily? I can tell you since I got the rebirth. That it. That's it right there. The rebirth on the minikin. That rebirth. That rebirth, though. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, this is not set up. I, I can best assure you that." This is what I have on my table right now. Well, not that you can see it anyway, but I have a rebirth sitting in there with all sorts of crazy effects. Which he has minus. So, anyway, just just about to set that up. Yeah, since I put hands on that uh, minikin, I have not set it down. That's the first time I've set it down, and I'm really regretting that decision. I was like, oh. Let's go back and use the cartel. It's been a while. Yeah, it's gonna go sit on the shelf as a paperweight. Yeah. Maybe I'll pass it off to somebody down the line or something like that once I get somebody else to quit and they need another device. KBK. Oh. Yeah, KBK is same way. <clears throat> yeah. Ever since I ever said because I I asked DJ LSB Bapes. That's who I asked. I was like, what's the best mod out? And he was like, Mini can be two. It's like, isn't that a little old? He's like, he's like, doesn't matter. <laughs> like, a, like accuracy, accuracy, battery life, and just functionality. Minikin V2. I was like, okay, I'll get a Minikin V2. Said the only thing, the only thing else that was close was the uh, uh, Revenger, Vaporesso Revenger, and I got, I also <laughs> grabbed one of those, and it is mighty, it is mighty close. The Vaporesso Revenger is also a really, really nice little mod. Um, but the minikin, minikin, just the just the ergonomics of the minikin hmm. puts it over the top of that, and, and it's slightly more battery efficient. You know, that doesn't make me want to pull out my old workhorse that I was okay. taking with me everywhere just to see how it can compares. Because I was using that Treebox Plus as a workhorse forever. The Treebox Plus is still a pretty nice little mod. Yeah, and it's just been sitting up here collecting dust because I'm like, eh, yeah. eh, no, no. I think I might have to go back to it just to see because I'm pretty sure it outperforms the cartel, but I don't think it's going to outperform the minikin. No, right. Nothing outperforms the minikin. Nothing. I wish they. I wish there was a dual 2700, 21700 version of the minikin. Oh, minikin, minikin get on that. Yeah, I'm all as gonna... Modus, as Modus, you heard it here first. You heard what we want. We want a dual 21700 version of the minikin B2. Oh yeah, really extend that battery life. Oh, dude, you would you would never have to charge the mod again. That's how battery efficient it would be. <laughs> like you put those two twenty one seven hundreds in again, and you're just vaping for the rest of your life on it. Yep. Well, what would it look like if they could do something? To sort of take Brian's initiative there and do that in a twenty one seven hundred with. That type of shape, you know. Yeah. I like the Darth Vader sh- shape. I think I love that. Oh, it is Darth Vader, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That Darth Vader shape, really. Yeah, it's a little stroke of genius. <laughs> little stroke of genius from Young Brian. Wow. Who knew Darth Vader could be behind? You know, <laughs> with the best ergonomics on the on the hand feel and a vape, you know. the newest shape for vape all right what is so yeah what else do we got out there everybody what's our what's our next subject i forgot how happy the video for no rain was (laughs) i know right like it's her being lonely and everybody making fun of her and then she finds her people and they go and they dance in the they go and dance in the field and it's awesome well that's like the streams whenever we come together on YouTube. All the all the bees of all shapes and sizes and colors yeah. come together as one. Just dance all '90s style. <laughs> it's right. Oh, how does '90s style go, Adam? Not too old. It was like like Grateful Dead revival dancing. 
Because you remember if you're, well, at least here in the U.S. in the early 90s, yeah, it's exactly catching butterflies. That's how it goes. <laughs> Very modern day Charlie Brown. In, in the early 90s here, there was like a big, like, late 60s, early 70s kind of revival in fashion. And everybody was rocking John Lennon glasses and tie-dyed stuff. And, like, that's when oh, yeah. that Blind Melon song came out. So it was, like, perfectly timed, that song, because it had a very hippie vibe to it. <laughs> That that it I think that might be one of my favorite one hit wonders of all time is that song. Just yeah. it's <laughs> just a great song. <laughs> yeah. I mean the the lead singer I mean to be fair, the lead singer died. He died like really soon after that, right? A couple of years, yeah, ninety five. That album came out in ninety two and then they had their second one in ninety five and he died right after that. Yeah. Coke overdose. KBK used to, KB, coke, I believe. KBK needs to come on a show and play the Peanuts theme song for us on the piano. I thought you said penis theme song. I was like, what? <laughs> the penis theme song? It's like, what? There's a theme song. <laughs> <laughs> There's a question from Indy's Best out there. I'm not going to be willing to tackle that one because I don't know enough about that area of the world. So I, um, haven't seen I haven't seen a Jewel commercial. Are they playing Jewel commercials? Yeah, I have not are seen them. Are they legally allowed to do that? I, don't. I, I have heard them. I haven't seen an actual commercial on TV, <clears throat> but I have heard dozens of them on the radio. I barely watch uh, network TV. So, so. I, yeah, I don't have I don't have cable anymore. Like I've just I just stream everything now. Yep. Uh, Likewise. Yeah, I'm not seeing here. I stream everything. I don't even have cable. The only cable I have is for internet service. That's it. Everything uh, else. Gizzard Stew would like us to know that there is, in fact, a penis theme song. <laughs> but, uh, is that the Dear Penis? <laughs> I'd like all? to know right if, if that is, is played on the shorty instrument. Hmm. Is the instrument made from a shorty? I think there has to be a flute involved. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gotta be a pink one. Mm. Raising Shadow Vape says she's seen four jewel mm. commercials. Mm. Huh. It's ironic that they pull all of their social media, but then they'll start making commercials. Huh. Uh, Marlboro money. Let's see. Hive Adam, a um, Min Lumi. I'm sure Adam will throw one together. I tried reading that one. I gave up after rereading it for like the seventh time. I think I think I think he's saying hi, Adam. Um, what am I supposed to be throwing what, together? A penis I, theme song, maybe? I think oh. he's trying to get Adam and Lumi to collab on a penis theme song. Can we? Oh, I mean, with la, with uh, we learned something about Lumi on Fresh from the Kitchen last night. If anybody didn't, oh god, that, <laughs> you can go watch you can go watch the replay of Fresh from the Kitchen. Um, oh, I remember we, now. Yeah, Lumi has a po Lumi has a poseable uh, labia. She has like labia a, that can grab stuff, and it was a gripping conversation. And apparently, if you kegel enough, you can pull them up inside, and then, like, as you go to hug somebody, like you can use your opposable labia to hump their belly button. We learned this last night on Fresh from the Kitchen. Fresh from the Kitchen's an all around educational show. Everybody, we educate the people. Look at that. Learning new things. Like, we learn something new every time I'm on a stream somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I don't... I, I know... I know... It's not theoretical. Legally... Legally, Jewel cannot be producing, like, tel television commercials and calling themselves a safe alternative. Because if they're allowed to do it, then everybody else is allowed to do it. And... The FDA was very clear about that, that vaping could not call, it, call itself a safer alternative. And it could not call itself a uh, cessation method, despite the fact that it has now been scientifically proven to be 95% safer and twice as effective as leading nicotine replacement therapies. God forbid we use some facts. <laughs> be good, Gizzard Stew, we miss you, love you, brother. Hey, brother. <laughs> See, are the are the are the commercials 
like on TV? Are they being played on something that's federally regulated? Or is it just like an internet pop up? If it's an internet pop up, then it's pretty much free game. Yeah. yeah, that's that that I'm pretty sure is fine. But hear about on the radio through truth. The truth initiative is backing Jewel. What? 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 No. That, I was gonna, there's no way that's possible. There's no way. No. They would rather have their um, children ripped from their wombs before. Yeah, Mina uh, Rage that. quit the Super Bowl this weekend because they played that vaping is me. Yeah, I lost my shit, dude. I flipped out. I got pissed. The official CBS live stream broadcast of the Super Bowl played that fucking Truth Initiative commercial where they try to say. I'm out. Yeah, when well, that came across the live stream and I fucking rage quit, I lost it. I'm glad I didn't catch that. I yeah, they're curious. saying it's on cable TV. Oh, they're really? saying it's on Fox TV, yeah. It's on CW, CNN. They're saying they're showing Jewel. Are they calling themselves a safer alternative? Because if, they, if they're calling themselves a safer alternative, then like every vaping company like should immediately start putting out we're safer since or she's seen it on comedy central even jesus holy shit hmm you know i might have to turn on the the hulu live and just put on one of the local channels just to see if i can catch one of their commercials yeah like like are they are they serious like what are they saying about themselves like are they saying that they're that they're safer alternative to smoking and that you can quit Google powers go. Like I, I really, I'm really curious because those are the things that they, like, it has to be like we were like vaping was limited by the FDA to adult publications. You couldn't say that you, you couldn't say that it would help you quit smoking. You couldn't say that it was safer than smoking. Like that was the three things. Oh, they're just marketing themselves as an e-cigarette. E so they're just marketing it as an e-cigarette. Well, see, that brings up another thing, because if they're, if they're in the pocket of big tobacco And he's best now, says they're saying you can quit. Then something has changed, or or Jewel has stepped way out of bounds, and they're going to get schmacked. Although they probably won't get schmacked, because they've got lobbyists in their pocket and stuff. Hmm. And, and if that's the case where they're using people to say that, every company should jump on the bandwagon and say, hey, this is what this guy says about my product. We're not going to say it ourselves, but sure, this person did. Well, they're not even allowed to do, they're, you're not allowed to do testimonials. Like, otherwise, that would have been the mar that would have been the direction that everything went. Yeah. So there's to do there's three commercials on this website that I just posted in chat, and they're like testimonial commercials for sure. It's like a dude. And he's like talking about how he quit smoking and how he looks at smokers now. And he's like, dude, you still doing that? <laughs> and it's like, make the switch, Jewel. Wow. <laughs> wow. There's three of them. There's got to be a loophole in the way that they're wording it. I'm sure those Marlboro lawyers scoured over all the text that they proposed to put in that commercial. And were like, if you take this word out, you're not technically. Hmm. Um, I think it's fries up there a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. A little strange. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like... I th yeah, I think Nurse is right. I think it's because they're just saying make the switch. They're not actually talking about yeah. harm reduction or they're tobacco very, replacement. Uh... They're Vague using language. Yeah, naive wording is yeah, yep. the trick that they're using here. In that case, make the switch to Asmodus. Right? Fuck them. Hmm. Hmm. Make the switch to something that tastes fantastic. <clears throat> so I'm I'm hmm. thinking there has to be a caveat on this. I think it has to, I think it I think those have to air at like certain times. I don't know that that can air like in the middle of the day or during the nightly news or anything like that. Right. <clears throat> oh, when were There's... you guys seeing those commercials? That those of you who have seen them, what time of day was it? 
That's yeah, is like it at night? Or, I mean, that's probably not like that's not <laughs> something a lot. Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not something that a lot of people were. Uh, it might be not be something that they were saw one last night. So I'm thinking it's got to be after like the 9 p.m. mark, because you can do you can do some some mature stuff after like 9 p.m. Yeah. So once it, it has to be like there has to be a certain demographic that that can watch it. Uh, noon three five six seven etc. in Utah. Wow. Oh Jesus! Afternoon wow. mostly evening. Wow. Right. Wow. Huh. I don't know. I don't know how they're getting away with it then. It's <laughs> got to be the wording, man. Besi gotta... Besides this. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I can think of is they have the cash to do Did it. You say this? For jewel. I'm say they're jewel. using that old the, or opening technique. Those are those are actually really nicely put together commercials. So mm -hmm. good Need for jewel. Watch, like, Need to watch like a Friday night sitcom on like CBS or something and see if they run one. Oh, just watch. I bet you Saturday Night Live it'll pop in between there. Mm. Yeah, it'll probably be on something like Saturday. It's it's definitely going to be so. those Thank later you. demographics. After the like three skits that they've done making fun of Jewel, I don't know if that'd be the best place to advertise for them. <laughs> yeah, I would totally do it. Fuck them. The, the, you know, just I'll buy, I'll buy a spot. You know, make fun of me. Any, any, any nonsense you want, any nonsense you want to put out there, that's better advertising for us. In fact, I would do it when I know that they're going to show a rerun of you doing that skit, just so right. that way I can get people to buy because you guys are idiots. <laughs> So I don't know how trustworthy this ad is, or not ad, but article I found on it, but it says that it's, um, the main spent 20, $10 million is going towards TV spots with the ads airing on cable after 10 p.m., geared specifically towards an older audience. That's when it's supposed to, yeah, that, that makes sense. That's, that's when it would be okay, because I think, I think Blue still runs something every once in a while. It's probably one of those things where the the contract that they sign for advertisement says that they'll do it after ten. But if it runs any other time, that's at the station's discretion because that's not mm -hmm. what they originally agreed to. Yeah. yeah. And then um, there are here's, here's, here's an here's an extra million dollars. Right. A chew. Oh, this money fell out of my sleeve. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it's all over your table here, Mr. Station Manager. I mean, I I, I have to go. I certainly don't have time to pick this up. I mean, right, right. Could, you, um, could you pick this up? Right. Could you handle that for me, please, sir? Yes. And you're out the door. So, yeah, I don't. I mean, they're they're nice. They're nice commercials. They put the they put the right message across. Yeah, it's so. all former smokers as the um, models, I guess. They're they're only using model. former smokers that are their models now at doing testimonials of how they quit smoking cigarettes. Did they get indoor smokers to do a spot? <laughs> oh, please, did they? Oh, just like I indoor, would smoke, die. indoor smokers. Is, indoor smokers is sitting there, and then the next thing you know, he's juggling knives, and the next minute he's juggling packages, and then he's like, ah! That dude's awesome. Still, to this day, indoor smokers is awesome. Huh. He's, a, he's a hero to the community, like him or not. He, that dude's helping more people quit than probably anybody else. Fool has their own YouTube channel with 550 subscribers right now. Where they're posting all the testimonials. Where's the horseshit button? Horseshit. There you go. That's my best that's my best Grim Green impersonation. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I don't have the key binds for that yet. Give me time. <laughs> what else? What else do you guys want to talk about? Do we want to talk about Grim Green's uh, fantastic quotes? Or how he's a professional troll to uh, Scott Gottlieb. That's fantastic. Yeah, he is a true pro when it comes to that. So. 
There's one where they say you don't have to go outside. That's true. It's true. You don't have to. Secondhand vapor has, does not have any toxins in it that we know of. There are a shit ton of Jewel YouTube channels. Like, there's just people just like, Jewel Challenge! And then they all sit in a car and vape Jewel until they pass out blue in the face. It's like, you dumb fucks. Oh, really? Sounds so right. Then when you run across one of those, immediately report that motherfucker. I mean, if they're 18 and over, I mean, they're not killing anybody, so. Yeah, fair enough. But if you can see that motherfucker's balls have still not dropped, report it. <clears throat> Indy's best loved my appearance on Noted. Thank you. I thought we did a fantastic job on that episode. I'm going to be on another one in June, like the beginning of June. I'll be on another one. It was good. It's a good show. Mm -hmm. And I really, really appreciate you spreading your yogurt everywhere all over that show fresh. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I could I'm glad I could give you a dose of uh, <laughs> my yogurt down under. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> in fact it actually inspired me for a new recipe coming out in the next couple of days. Oh wow. The, 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 there you go. The missing couple of pieces of the puzzle come from that show. Nice. Mm. Pippa, Pippa's putting Pippa, Pippa's putting forth a yogurt recipe. You know what happens when someone puts a yogurt recipe out, right? Pippa, mm -hmm. I immediately, I immediately, I immediately Spank. retaliate with a better one. Spank it. Spank it. <laughs> Actually, maybe that's what you could call the recipe. Just call it spank it. That's fine. <laughs> I usually just call it something like better than Wayne's yogurt. <laughs> He's only he's only ever dared to do it once. Like he was number one for a day, and then I saw the video on. I was like, "Oh, really?" So I put a yogurt recipe out, and I immediately topped Wayne. Immediately topped him the next it's day. A, it's actually like it's not a bowl of yogurt. Oh, I'll, I'll let this much information go. It's like a frozen yogurt popsicle. Ooh, ooh! I've been vaping that uh, that blue or that blackberry, that blackberry frozen yogurt that I put out. That's a nice right, one. nice. Yeah, that would be nice. Those nice, deep, rich, dark flavors. I love them. Just a hint of the, hint of the strawberries. Mm, imagine a little bit of, a little bit of raw boysenberry. A little mm. bit of boysenberry. Yeah. Um, Sim, I'll address that question. No, we did not. But if you want to hear about it, you can go and um, watch the five ten report because it's something I will not address. Um, because that is for lack of better terms, um, not minding your maws um, and battery safety. Oh, isn't, that the, isn't that the same dude? Isn't it just a rehash of the same report? No. I thought, it was, I, thought it was a, I thought it was just a rehash of the same dude that was high as fuck on, like, meth and coke and had, like, six drugs in its system. In the, no, the it's actually a different one that has to do with the guy while he was driving. And his mod exploded and he died? Yeah. Apparently they're calling it and apparently, well, I guess we're addressing it now. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> apparently uh, they said the coroner's reporter or whatever said that um, it was a battery issue that caused his death. So, so his mod set on fire and he crashed his car? That doesn't, it, it's maybe, well, maybe the, maybe the battery blew blow it maybe this car battery blowing well, up was from, was he driving tesla fuck that guy <laughs> i i didn't go in and read it because every time i see something like that that's unneeded um attention to those types of things and so but from what grim was saying apparently they're saying a piece of the mod itself when the battery went and cut his carotid artery oh. okay, okay. They still won't then, actually say what setup and battery he was using because yeah. they know damn well the second they do, we're going to call bullshit. But they're, at this point, just saying that it was so, his device and the battery. That so he didn't die from vaping. He died from blood loss. That, it's got nothing to do with vaping. Fuck that guy. Basically, I'm, I'm basically. back to fuck that guy. Fuck that story. Yep. Yeah. And it, what it is, is they just use it as a way to forward their anti-vaping narrative. That's all. 
fresh, if you could improve Addy's yogurt, how would you improve it? Um, the only thing I might do is switch out the Bavarian cream for something else, but I don't even know at this point what I would switch it out to. It's, it's such a, it's that, that's one of those recipes that it was a happy accident. I think it was my second try and I was like, mm. that's fucking perfect. I'm done. I don't need to do anything else. George is ending on a high note. That's right. Fresh is ending on a high note. I'm going to, maybe that'll be my last video on YouTube. I'm just going to re-release an Addy's yogurt video and be like, huh. I beat you, I beat you, I beat you motherfuckers back at the start of all of this. Like, I don't <laughs> have to do, I don't have to do anything else. Addy Tooney is the man and I'm gone. Drop, a, drop your mic. Yep. Because oh. I, I said, I said the very last thing I'm ever going to say on my YouTube channel when I'm done is Addy Tooney is the man. <laughs> I dropped a link out there in the chat, which was the Battery Mitch channel, guys, for battery safety and lots, lots more. Please do yourself a favor, subscribe to the Battery Mooch. Damn and, nice. and, and not just yourself a favor, everybody in the community a favor. When you subscribe and you pay attention and watch those videos, you're not only helping yourself, you're helping everyone else. So you don't mm. end up as a news story and we don't have to deal with it. I actually introduced a new new vaping friend of mine to Mooch uh, this week. He's just been vaping for like two months, and he just found his way over to Mex because he likes the more powerful hit, and he still wasn't 100% certain on his battery knowledge and on his, his oming, so I immediately told him all about Mooch and told him where to go find Mooch and told him before I'll give him any recommendations, he needs to go educate himself, but as soon as he's done, I'd be more than happy to walk him through anything he needs, and yep. he latched right onto it he went over there and he bookmarked all this shit and we've been talking about it ever since good that's fantastic the way to do it. <clears throat> you do need to know what the fuck you're doing you just don't go throwing shit together and it's not one of, it's not one of those things where you can um prepare for the worst and hope for the best type situations that's not what you want to do do i have a peach yogurt recipe yes give me a moment V dog, that's like asking if the Pope has a funny hat. <laughs> and out there is probably the most important 25 minute video you'll ever watch before you even consider picking up a mechanical mod of any shape or form. That is the basic mathematics in 25 minutes. Uh, if you still don't understand it, watch it again. If you still don't understand it, do not pick up a mech mod. Yep. I understand it and I watched it just because Luke is awesome. Hell yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. He's like your coolest professor at college. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Sin, I'm going to address your question there. Not if he's in a zoo. <laughs> or in the middle of the road or, you know, other places that it could possibly happen. But, yeah, for the most part. And look, while we're on it, and we're talking a little bit about safety, all I'm going to say is to your DIYers out there, I'm not going to go any deeper than this, guys. But if you're storing liquid nicotine, I don't care what strength it is, keep it plain marked, out of the way, unattractive, out of harm's way, for Christ's sakes, don't leave it down low where the kids can go. Simple yes. as that. Or anyway, that's all I know. That's exactly right. Actually, um, here's a good little laugh for everybody. I thought I was going to end up getting Nick sick on Monday as I was doing a little bit of mixing. I scared the ever living shit out of myself because I almost knocked over my bottle of 100 milligram Nick. Oh. Yeah. That's always Look, shit. A little bit got on my gloves, which was fine. Immediately mm -hmm. ripped the gloves off, and bagged them and tagged them. Fucking called that shit a day because I was not trying to have that new pair of gloves. Cleaned up the workstation before I moved on just to make sure there was nothing else there. Regloved mm -hmm. again before I continued mixing because even after cleaning that shit up, I didn't want to risk any of it possibly getting through the rubber gloves. So hmm. it, was, it was a good fun scare though. I scared the shit out of myself. I was like, oh no, here we go. Just remind you why you wear gloves and shit. <clears throat> I can, tell, I can tell you how stupid I get sometimes. Like I was sitting there mixing and I had put all my ingredients in and I'm sitting there getting ready to put the bottle together and I look and there's a drop on the side. And so I'm trying to put the bottle together. And I'm like, yeah, like that. And I punched the thing in, twisted oh, no. it. And I was, I was like, that doesn't taste right. That's Nick. 
Oh shit! <laughs> I got a full, I got a full drop of 100 milligram Nick on my tongue. <clears throat> oh my god! Yeah, so I, I immediately went and rinsed my mouth out, and I was fine. But I I didn't feel all that great for a couple minutes. But yeah, that'll that'll make your brown eye wink at you. Yeah, that was kind of that was one of those. <laughs> Let's just sit here for a minute. Says, so even the, even the even the best of us can get stupid about it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do got to be careful. That's definitely a, a scary thing to have happen. Like, I knew it was immediate Nixic if it would have got on me, so I, I freaked the fuck out for a moment. I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And I looked at myself and went, get your shit together. You've been in worse positions than a little bit of Nixic. You'll be all right. Yeah. So the, the, I've draw, there's, the, there's, the link, there's a link a couple times out there for you. <clears throat> for the peach yogurt. Uh, that's a recipe I made up for Raina Treadwell, for anybody that remembers Raina. Aww. It's been a minute Love since you, anybody's Raina. talked about Raina. Raina's she's awesome. Great. She's great people. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, that's her. That's a recipe I made for her, and she put it up on uh, her ELR. She, can I put this up? I don't care. <laughs> the secret to a good peach yogurt, believe it or not, orange cream by TFA. Right, it rounds it out and it smooths that peach out so it kills the throat. Nice. You heard it here first. Hell yeah. Pro tips from Fresh uh, 03. Well, maybe not here first, but you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely said that before. I've definitely, definitely said that before on a show or two. Oh, oh, what are we at here? Well, we had about 10 minutes to go and. I'm going to take us around the room here because I'm going to play Adam's song one more time before we get out of here tonight. Heck yeah. So you guys can enjoy it again. I'm going to mute, I'm gonna mute it. I'm going to, since I can't hear it on the stream, I'm going to mute it and play it for myself. Yeah, yeah. Fucking That's hell. how much I like that. Oh. Every time he puts a new song out, I'm like, new favorite. Says, yes, please. Uh, I'm not going to lie. A little bummed. My song didn't get picked, but we're going to give her the old college try again this week when we've got the new um list up so we'll see yep. i'll open yeah. the thread tonight i think, uh, I think i'm still gonna put the jackson five up again that'd be that's awesome. a that's a killer tune oh, yeah. <laughs> no. who, who wants to run it first here you know lino velez has a recipe called unicorn jizz i'll be waiting for your improvements is it on elr i'll look at it right now <laughs> I'll give you. I'll, I'll improve. I'll improve it on the spot. There you go. I'll let you improve it on the spot, and then we'll move on to somebody else. We'll move it on to somebody here to get us out of here. While he's looking it up, I'll quickly wrap up my bit. Then go off to you. Uh, TJ. Um, I just think it's important. I think the things that I've learned out of this little bit on the show today is it's important to do the safety dance and to do it with Adam. Because Adam doesn't do a safety dance better than anyone that I've ever come across. <laughs> so, so it's important, I, I think, it's important to just admire the way that Lumi shines. Her talents shine. Um, you know, the, the, the trophy-making skills is amazing. Um, Mita, you, you are a trophy, you know. You, there's no doubt about it. Um, his shirt is a, one is a trophy that you can get at, uh, at Vaping Swag as well. And, you know, fresh is best naturally. Thank you again for having me golf tea. And um, you can catch me in about an hour and a half, if you want to, if you're still awake. You've got nothing better to do. You want to see this ugly face, I'm on my channel on DIY Down Under. And I'm just doing a little bit of Q&A. Just doing a little bit of Q&A and a bit of DIY. Otherwise. And by ugly face, you. you mean incredibly gorgeous along with the long-standing trophy holding one and only <laughs> Australian DIY mixer? Yeah, well, you know, you know. You're just being modest. I'll say yeah. But if you don't want to go to all the hassle of going to, you know, putting a hundred flavors together, you just want an easy way to DIY and you live anywhere in the world, go to adoreetc.com and, um, Get yourself some of the one shots. I highly recommend banana bondage myself. Pecan sequence is not a bad little number as well. So is um, Dark Horse. Dark Horse, if you're feeling 
have way inclined as well. Um, yeah. So, yeah, go, go and check out adoreeliquids.com if you just want a ready made e liquid ready to go. If you're in the USA. Oh, wow. All right, thanks. Yeah. Who's next? Who's on the chopping block? Nobody. I'm still improving this recipe. I'll go. <laughs> I'm Adam. You can check out my band, Eddie and the Arsons. Uh, just Google it. Uh, download some music. Check us out. We uh, try not to disappoint. We're all right. <laughs> but yes, thank you, TJ, for having me. Um, always the highlight of the week. And I probably say that every week, but it's true. It's, it's no BS. This is like the highlight of my week. So thanks for having me. I'm about to mix the, or uh, try this uh, spiced peach cream shortly here. Yeah. And uh, I'll probably join your little Q&A, Pippa, and let you know how it turns out. <laughs> nice, nice. I mean, it's fantastic. So it's yeah. Fortunate. Thanks for having me. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put up a post after the show on Facebook as well, so you guys can start voting for the next song, which will be delivered in two weeks. And I will pass it to Lumi. Damn it! I thought we were all gonna sit there and look guilty until one of us pitched in. Well, I'm letting Fresh do his homework. I know he doesn't well, take that long, but I'm just giving him his time. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Sorry I went a little quiet. I started Googling all these commercial ads and <laughs> all the news articles related to it. I just got sucked into it. It's always a blast to be here with you guys and hanging out with the chat. Like Adam said, it's, it's a highlight of a lot of our weekdays. Just coming over and hanging out, chilling, mixing, whether it's on Fresh's show, TJ's show, back to Fresh's show just a nice place to be. Thanks for having me. I'm going to pass it to Pippa. Well, made. you can pass it to me, but I've already been, but I'll quickly, well, <laughs> I'll pass it to me. I'll just make sure that Fresh is aware that he knows yes. uh, that from a reliable source that you are a sex symbol in Australia. Um, the reliable source is Chrome out there in the chat, so there you go. You've heard of it here first. Chrome said you are a sex symbol in Australia. Okay. I'm like, not sure a, what like, does, like, does Ben Oz know about that? Like, I, I get it. Like, I just throw the fireplace up like that. Like, yeah. hey. mm -hmm. who's up for okay. some, who's up for some nice mixing tonight? Uh, on the just so that, if this sex symbol is a question mark or a hashtag, hmm. I think it's, a, I think it's, I think it's definitely a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> there what you go, you Lino. So the name of this recipe is uh, Riding the Unicorn Roomba with Lino. Nice. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Boom. Fresho 3 out. <laughs> um, remember, everybody, go over to the pinkpussylist.com. Support the people that support us. Uh, Stand Up 3Ds over there. Adore E-Liquid. Uh, Deep Cuts E-Liquid. Um, Dreamer Mod. LucidRDA.com. That's what that's what it is. Um, yeah, uh, uh, coil vapes, vaping swag. All these amazing people who, who tune up to who tune in and support us and Kenny um, they support the community. Yeah, Kenny B. Kenny B. So there's all sorts of awesome people that that support us and there's a and we support them and we get uh, a discount in supporting them. Uh, remember this Saturday we're right we're starting super early we're raising money for homeless vets um we'll be mixing with me mixing with me friends i'm not gonna steal your not gonna steal your show title pippa mixing with me friends that's all over it, huh? so we'll do we'll do yeah so we're gonna start at uh, 7 a.m run till our normal stopping time all the money we raise goes directly to the to the charity we'll be raising it for homeless vets um this is a homeless vet uh group that actually spends all the money on supporting the homeless vets. They go out and they get them, get them off the street, take them to warming shelters, try to do their best to get them back on their feet. Um, Cause a lot of, a lot of veterans come back from, uh, from war, but they never really come back. So I've known, I've known a fella or two 
uh, I've had my moments where I'm that fella. So it all, it all, it's all going to go to a worthwhile cause. So everybody be beautiful to each other, educate, advocate, be good for this community. We'll see you on the next one over to, over to TJ at the, uh, advocacy pants desk. Cause Ooh. we did a good job on advocacy tonight. Advocacy pants desk. I like that. That's a good improvement from the poopy pants desk. I mean, they can, no advocacy shit. pants can be poopy. It just depends on the person. Oh, and then in that case, I'll call them racing stripes. <clears throat> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, uh, to that effect. Um, <laughs> uh, first and foremost, uh, thank you all for coming out. Yes, I'm going to look directly at the camera now because I'm not going to look at chat for a moment. Thank you all for coming out. I do appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. You guys are the reason why I keep coming back and doing this. Don't get me wrong. I love hanging out with my friends just as much, but... You guys make it worth my while to come back. You hang out, you chat, you run the show today. You guys did a phenomenal job. We did talk quite a bunch of stuff here. Didn't go quite as far off the rails as I thought we were going to go today, though. I'm going to say I'm a little disappointed today in that. But you know what? It's all right. We still had fun. Got to talk some shit and do our thing. Because uh, they're all saying, go support people in the community. Support us. Um, anything off of the pink pussy list from... Adore to coil vapes to vaping swag to vinyl and vapor to uh, Kenny B all of it they're all they're all there to support us and speaking of coil builders that we haven't mentioned in a while he's still out there and you can now find him on adoringliquid.com does anybody Very know who that is Freddy Freddy clean AF coils you can get them on AdoreEliquid.com currently. So, mm. on no, those, those coils do live up to the hype. Those are the cleanest fucking coils in the business. They oh, are. Sure. If there's a hiccup in it, he ain't sending it out. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. One of those fantastic coil builders where you know you barely have to strum anything. The second you install it, it's glowing right from the get-go. Damn right. Uh, and then uh, make sure... We always say every week, educate, advocate, not for yourselves, not for the people to your left or to your right, but for that person that comes behind you who has not made the switch from the stinkies. We need to get them on board and keep this alive for them. So just make sure you're doing your part. And that, um, thanks for hanging in there with me through the few first hiccups here of um, pushing the show on my own again, because it has been quite a few months, actually. So again, thank you to everybody who did push the show at one point or another and came in and helped out. And thanks, Battle, for making sure I got everything fucking right today. My so, pleasure. Next week should be better. And oh, plan. I might go back and I think I'm going to find just a random one of um, Adam's tunes for next week that he's already done. Just to, uh, you know, put a little something Spice. different out there. Spice it up a little bit. I think that's a good idea. We'll just pick on the off weeks where he's not adding in a new tune. We're going to just pull one of the old random ones just so that way we can go back and have a re-listen. Yeah. Although we, I, could play, we could play some Eddie in the Arsons or the or the Disheartened, too. Ooh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you have full we got, we, permission from Ed to play any any Eddie in the Arsons tunes. Yeah, if you've got... Do you guys awesome. have anything that's like a um, couple minutes, not too long? It, we're a pop punk. None of our songs are longer than three minutes. <laughs> Perfect. That's good. Um, I have to find a little link where I can download that stuff to make the desktop here. Um, I'll hook you up. But then, so yeah, we'll find some random stuff here. You guys, get you some fantastic tunage just to go in and out on. You know, if he's gonna supply, uh, I will gladly push it. Uh, and don't forget when he does put up the link out in the Facebook group, go put in your two songs. Get your two cents heard and possibly played. You know, it'll be a good time. I'm just saying. Is, uh, Swaggy, Sh is Swaggy Shane even out there? Um, he was. No, he was the winner. It was his song that won, actually. So. Yeah, and Swaggy he's, not even, he's not even hanging out to hear it. So yeah, he's going to have to go back and watch the replay watch the for replay. it. So, and then, no, I love you all. Thank you all for coming out. I'm going to send it over to the one, the only, the Meter Vapes. So, first and foremost, TJ, thank you 
most of all, for having a show every Wednesday that a group of lunatics like this and an audience full of miscreants can count on being there every week to help get our semblance of normal back to reality. So real quick, just because they didn't, I'm going to take a second here. Everyone who hasn't already, go look up The Disheartened, Adam's other band that he forgot to promo himself for. And everyone who hasn't yet, go follow Lumi on Twitch. And if you have a Twitch Prime sub, you get one free a month. Give it to her. She deserves it. It's the most entertaining Twitch stream you'll ever fucking watch. But on top of that, I have got a shitload going on myself right now. I have got my Instagram page, The Meter Vapes, where I do short advocacy posts. I do the meter rants that people love. I've got my YouTube channel, The Meter Vapes, also where I do liquid and hardware reviews now because I'm fancy. Now, on top of that, I also have the new thing that we've been working on here that is starting to come into its own fruition, a little thing we're calling the I'm No Joe podcast for all of you who are MMA fans, we get folks like Golf Tee, we get folks, we get the one and only Divine to come on and take part, and we give our shit-talking thoughts on MMA the same way you would see a group of us, just like we do here, give our talk, our thoughts, rather, on vaping. So it's a great time. We post them on YouTube. There'll be one coming up again this weekend before UFC 234. I promise you, you're going to laugh more than you're going to think, and it's, it's a good time, so go check that out. And the thing that I want to tell people about the most, Pippa mentioned it earlier, the sparkliest shirt in vaping, folks. We have new colors. We have new designs. We have got different foil print options now. There are so many different things that you can get with a Meter Vapes logo on it from vapingswag.com. And I don't make a penny of fucking profit. Every single penny of profit made from anything you buy with a Meter Vapes logo on it goes directly back to vaping advocacy so by helping support me i am supporting you and that is what this fucking community is all about supporting each other support those who support others we have no choice folks we have to band together or we will be banned together yes made me cry a little bit perfect tugging them heartstrings just as we should be uh, that's right Again, thank you all for coming out. Um, who wants to give us the old gizzard stew since he's not here before I let us on out with uh, another replay of Adam's wonderful groove here? I think Pippa should do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Look, as you guys are awake, get yourself some gizzard brew. Get some custard. If you want to, maybe add some VSO blueberry to that custard. But as it goes through the week, don't be a tard. Enjoy your cuz tard. Be nice to somebody if you can. And get off your vape. Get off your ass and vape. Get off your butts and vape. That's it. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I fucked that up. Get off your butts and vape. Master babe. (laughs) Not a lot, just a little bit. Steve. Steve. Steve.
Moisturizer is good for the skin. Like your. Let me just add person to a kangaroo's vagina. Oh, she's Philly. Adam's down here. Wait a minute. Let me use the one who says you want to be them up by the kangaroo's vagina. Then try and turn this on. I just want to make sure. This line is talking about this. I mean, Mimi does have a post almost more stupid like labia. Like I, I bet, I bet a koala could hump somebody's belly button. If any, if any.